We're going to look at the common ion effect by considering what happens to certain weaks in solution, certain weak acids or weak bases. For this weak in solution, and of course that's acetic acid, which is a weak acid, if we add in the acetate ion, which you can see on the product side of the reaction, by mixing in, say, this salt, sodium acetate, Le Chatelier says that we'd shift which way? If we look at our equation at the top here, we can see that if we dump a bunch of acetate ion into the solution, Le Chatelier would suggest that we should shift to the left. And if we shift to the left, what's going to happen to the ionization of the weak? And the answer is, well, we're going to produce more acetic acid and so the ionization of the weak will have decreased and the mixture will have a higher i.e. a more basic pH than the weak solution would by itself because if we shift to the left notice what happens to the amount of hydrogen ion that we have in the solution it's going to decrease so the pH will be higher that is it'll be more basic. We note that the ionization of a weak decreases when there's a common ion salt in the mix. Let's try another example. For this weak in solution, this is bromous acid, and we've got the ionization equation there for you. If we add in this ion, which is the bromite ion, by mixing in, say, this salt, calcium bromite, Le Chatelier says we would shift left because we will have a bunch more bromite ion in the solution. So Le Chatelier says we would shift left. Again, the ionization of the weak will have decreased. If we shift left, we will have consumed some of the free hydrogen ion. So the mixture will have a higher, that is a more basic pH, than the weak solution alone. So again, we notice that the ionization of a weak decreases when there's a common ion salt in the mix. For this weak in solution, this is ammonia, if we add in the ammonium ion, which is on the product side of the equation, by mixing in, say, this salt, ammonium chloride, which way would Le Chatelier say that we would shift? If we dump in a bunch of extra ammonium ion, we're going to shift to the left. The ionization of the weak will have decreased. And let's see, if we shift to the left, that means we're going to be consuming some of the hydroxide ion that is present, which means the hydroxide ion concentration is going to decrease, which means proportionately the hydrogen ion concentration will increase, which means the pH will be lower or more acidic than the weak solution alone. Here again, we're noticing that the ionization of a weak decreases when there's a common ion salt in the mix. Let's try one more. For this weak in solution, if we add in this ion, which is shown in the equation, that's the fluoride ion, by mixing in, say, potassium fluoride, Le Chatelier says we'd shift to the left because we have a bunch more fluoride ion in the mix. Ionization of the weak will have decreased, and if we shift left, again, look at the equation at the top, you're going to consume some of this hydrogen ion, which means the hydrogen ion concentration will decrease, which means the pH will be more basic. It'll be higher than it was when we just had the weak in solution by itself without any extra salt added in. This lesson was on the common ion effect. So, what is the common ion effect? Well, all four of these examples show that the common ion effect is that the ionization of a weak decreases when there's a common ion salt in the mix.